What's going on world? It's me, Andre Katnott here from West Palm Beach, Florida. So in this video, I want to explain to you a new service that I added. Now I'm allowing people to copy my exact trade. So that means every time that I take a trade, my own, my personal trades, those same trades will be copied to your account automatically. So this is not a trading bot. Um, this is nothing like that. You don't have to worry about being in drawdown. You don't have to worry about, you know, um, being in trades all day or nothing like that. So you'll be copying my exact trades with this new service. Okay. And, um, the cool thing about that is one, you're not going to be in a lot of drawdown Two, Um, I have a very, very tight stop loss. So every time I take a trade, the, my stop losses is very, very, very tight. All right. So if there, if there are losses or if I do lose a trade, you're only taking a, a a small loss, okay? But um, I'm very consistent, and um, I'm gonna be, you know, sharing my uh, my results uh, here um, starting next week, and um, you can, you know, you can jump on now. Which today I'm doing a special where you only pay a, a one-time fee of a hundred dollars, but after today it will be a one-time fee of three hundred dollars just for this service right here alone, okay? So. But if you're watching this video right now, today, I would highly recommend to reach out to me and pay the $100, pay the $100 one-time fee. That way you can save save some money because after today, it will be $300 just for this service alone, okay? So, um, so yeah, so real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, what, what I trade. So basically what I trade is I trade NAS 100, I trade US 30, I trade gold and GPP, JBY. Those are the those are the pairs that I'm going to be trading. Okay, those are the pairs that's going to be copied to your account when I place a trade. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you guys a trade that I took earlier today. Okay, and I'm going to bring out my Fibonacci because I do use Fibonacci trend lines, um, and my strategy when it comes to trading um, is breakouts. I always trade the breakouts. Okay, so real quick, all right, I'm going to show you guys a trade that I took today. One of my trades that I took today. So I'm gonna drop my Fibonacci all the way from down here, all the way up here. All right. I want to show you guys exactly why I took this trade. So uh, at the time I was looking at the, well, at the time that I was looking at the charts, one it was I took a trade here going down to I took a trade down right about right about here for a sale. It went down here, boom. Touched the 61.8. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a uh, PRZ zone. All right? That's what I call it, PRZ zone. It touched the 61. So it came so I I got in the trade for a sale and I caught I, I rolled it all the way down to the 61.8 and I got out of that trade. All right, I got out of that trade, and then I took another trade because um, one of the one of the way one of the ways that I you know um, take trades is all is also you know, most of the times off of um, you know the thirty eight point two or uh, the fifty the sixty one point eight the seventy seventy eight point six those those are areas where I I place trades right because. I know when the market moves moves up a lot, it has to come back down before it goes back up. Okay, so I took I took a I took a sale right here in this area, rode it all the way down to the sixty one point eight, then I took another trade at the sixty one point eight for a buy. So guess what? I got in like right here in this area. I got in right here, rolled it all the way up here, right? And guess what? You could have caught all those pips. Right. And another thing that I do is too as well is I move my stop losses into profit. All right. I move my stop losses um, to certain, um, you know, let's say that I have like four take profits or five take profits. Uh, once it hits my first take profit and it continues to go up, you know, maybe, you know, 10 pips or 20 pips above that, I usually move my stop loss to that, uh, that 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 take prop that first take profit. That way, if it does come back down, um, and 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 it, and it hits your stop loss, you'll be in profit. You would have made profit. Okay, so 
that's just one way that I trade. I use the Fibonacci. Um, let me see. I'm gonna show you another what another way I trade here. Another uh, another way that I trade, guys, is the breakout breakout pattern. All right. I have a uh, indicator here that tells me, you know, I want to take a trade based off of these trend lines. So as you can see, look at this right here, right? It, 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 I got a signal for a buy and it broke out of this, it broke out of this trend line, right? And as you can see, boom. All right. So this is this one is this this is another indicator that on how I trade. Um, another thing is uh, I also get buy signals as well. I don't take trade just basically off of my buy signals, but that's also um, gives me extra confirmation on when, if, I, if, I, if I should take a trade or not. Um, you know, and um, I have this uh, 66 uh, EMA, MA, moving average here. So that means whenever the whenever prices is above is it above the 66 MA moving average, then I should be looking for buys. If it's if price is below the 66 uh, MA, then I should be looking for sales. So that's also giving me confirmation when I do place my trades. Okay, so you know um, I use you know I use trend lines. I use um, Fibonacci. I use um, you know. Uh, supply and demand. Um, so, like for example, here I like, show you guys. So I show you guys. This, uh, I show you guys something real, something real quick. Okay, uh, I use uh, supply and demand zone. Let me show you how I how I draw my demand, my supply and demand zone. So, um, the only the only way that I uh, you know draw my supply and demand zone is when there when whenever there's a big push up in the market. All right, whenever whenever there's a big push in the market. I usually draw my uh, supply and demand zone right uh, from the wick from the previous uh, candle to the body of the other candle, the next candle. So that's how I do it. You see that from the wick, yeah. So that's how I draw my um, supply and demand zone. So that 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 tells me now, whenever the market comes back down to this area. It can, you know, it can struggle and shoot back up. Let's say that, uh, you know, price come back down and touch this uh, supply and demand zone. It can either go back up, or if it breaks this supply and demand zone, then that's that's going to indicate to me that I should be selling, okay? Because once it breaks this supply and demand zone, you should be in sales, okay? You shouldn't be looking for buys, because this is a major, uh, you know, major zone right here, okay? Now. Um, and then another thing, another indicator that will, uh, another uh, confirmation is, let's say the price came down here and, you know, past this uh, supply demand zone here. Well, I also have a trend line right here as well. So if it breaks this uh, zone here and it breaks my trend line, that means I should be looking for a sale. That's going to, that's going to give me extra confirmation that I should be in a sale. Okay. So that's 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 just uh, some of the ways that I trade. Uh, mainly, I trade the breakout, um, and you know, I'm, like I'm looking, I'm looking at Nas 100 US 30 for the breakouts. I'm looking for gold for the breakouts, and I trade GBP JBY during London session. And um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, now I'm gonna be allowing you guys to copy my trades. Um, you, if you want, you can use your funded challenges or, you know, if you, can, you want to copy my trades or pass your challenges, you can do that as well. Um, your account will be safe for sure. If you want to pass it, you know, in a way where you don't have to use a bot, you don't want to be in a lot of trades or you don't want to get into drawdown or whatever. Uh, you don't have to worry about that with me because on the way I trade, um, it's going to put you in a position where, um, you know, you're gonna have very very tight stop losses. So if I do if I do lose a trade, then you know those trades are gonna be very very small losses. Okay, but uh, if the trades go if the trades go my way, then um, you can be in you know some big profit. Okay, now um, it doesn't matter how much I make because you will have full control of your lot sizes, your risk settings. Um, so I can make a hundred dollars, but you, according to your risk, you can make 
uh, five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. It's just all depends on your 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 lot size, your risk settings, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and then also there's an equity protector that you can set inside of the software as well. Um, if you don't want to lose a certain amount of money, then you can set up an equity protector where it will close all of your trades if it hits a certain point and drawdown. Okay, but you will never be in um, a lot of drawdown. I'm letting you know that right now because my stop losses are going to be very, very, very tight. So yeah, so I you know you can do that. I also use um, you know my EMAs as well to also determine on when to get in trades. Like if you can look if you look closely here, these EMAs act as uh, moving support and resistance. Okay, look at this. Um, if you see a pattern here, you know um, you know if you can see look look at this when price comes up here, come back down, touch to touch the yellow EMA. The yellow EMA is my um, Eight EMA. The red, the red EMA is the twenty-one EMA, and then the uh, this light blue right here is the fifty EMA, and this is the sixty-six uh, EMA, and then um, this is the two hundred. Well, this is the eight hundred EMA right here. So, when prices is above all of these EMAs, that tells me that I should be looking for buys as well, and also I can use these um, uh, EMAs as as support and res moving support and resistance as you can see as it gone up it respect the you know it respects my uh aema it respects it okay and then um price came all the way back down as you can see it respected my 50 ema so i could have got in for a buy right here boom and rolled it all the way up um like i said this is just extra confirmation for me you know um uh, another confirmation for me is um, another indicator that I use. Also, I look at the news. Uh, you know, the, you know, to tell me should I be trading or not. Um, I also look at the currency strength meter. That's another confirmation that gives me. And I also, I look at. I'm gonna show you guys another tool that I look at. Let me see. I think I'm in there still. Like another tool that I look at. Um. See if it's work. Another tool that I look at helps me. It helps me um, see certain patterns. Okay, so uh, this tool is uh, it, gave, it gave me a, a pattern called the deep crab. Okay, so there are certain patterns in the market, right? And this right here automatically places the the, the pattern for me, so I can look at that pattern. And whenever this pattern shows up, that means I should be looking for a sale. This is, these are going to be my targets, okay? So this is just, you know, some of the ways that gives me extra confirmation when it comes to my trading style, okay? Um, but this is just an indicator that I use to show me different patterns in the market, okay? So this is, you know, um, like I said, you know, I, you know, I look at different things here, you know, when it when it comes to determining when I should take a trade or not. But you know, I use the EMAs. Right, like I said, the, the EMAs, right? You, it, it, it basically gives you know, it's basically like you know, moving support and resistance. Okay, as you can see, boom, price went up here, came back down, touched my 50 EMA. This is my 50 EMA. Came back and touched that, shot back up. Okay, all right. The only reason, and also, you know, by me using these EMAs, these EMAs also helps me to determine when to get out of when to get out of a trade as well. Because if a price would have went below um, the 50 EMA, that means that that should that tells me right there I should get out of the trade because it's going in the opposite direction. Okay, so um, also you know you can use the 21 EMA if you want to learn you know when to get in a trade. Um, you can wait until it touches the 21 EMA, which is my red line here, or the 50 EMA. Dope, dope, that right there gives you gives me um trading um you know entries right there just based off of that okay and then also like i said before i draw my uh fibonacci so like earlier this morning i draw my fibonacci from the bottom here from the low to the high okay and as you can see you know um <clears throat> As you can see, price went all the way up here, touched that. That's my top of my uh, Fibonacci here. 
came all the way back down and touched my um, 61 uh, 61.8 um, zone here and then I got in a trade right here all right I got a buy signal here that gives me an extra confirmation right here and then also um, the, uh, the the candle was uh, I got a buy right off with the 50 EMA too right here as you can see the blue line here and I rolled it all the way up another confirmation it broke the it broke the out of the, this uh this trend line right here as you can see that it, it broke out of that trend line and i you know i was still in the trade okay and i, I always move my stop loss stop loss into profit so I, I was moving my stop losses into profit all right and then um how do i know to get out of a trade well um you know the negative 27 and the negative 61 are my tps tp1 tp2 all right. If I want to, you know, if I if I want to like know where where the X of the trade, okay. So don't, like I said, you know, this is just some, you know, this is just all all of this what I'm showing you. It just helps me um, take take better trades. And then my stop losses is you know, ten pip stop loss or fifteen pip stop loss. The most twenty pip stop loss. Those are those are my stop losses. So if you do lose, if I do lose a trade that you copy from me automatically to your account they're going to be very very small small losses okay so with that being said guys i just wanted to guys i just wanted to show you guys what i'm going to be doing now for you guys i'm going to allow you guys to copy my exact trade so if you want to copy my exact trades automatically hands free today at the time of this video it's a hundred dollars one time after this after today it will be three hundred dollars okay so if you're watching the video now contact me asap I'll go ahead and get you set up. That way you can get start getting trades um, Sunday morning. Okay. So with that being said, I'm Andre Ketna here. What's well, Sunday night? Sunday night. Yeah. That's when the market up. But with that being said, I'm Andre Ketna here from West Palm Beach, Florida. I will see you guys on the internet. Take care, y'all.